Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Today News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick video on another guy from Frogestad uh, being signed from the SHL. As Gustav Rydal went to a division rival, the New York Rangers, and Adam Janning from the SHL Championship uh, team in the Frogestad BK now joins his teammate in the NHL as well. Well, they both hope to be in the NHL off the bat, and Rydal and Janning. I would think Janning is definitely going to use. AHL time as the great Bill Metzler thinks to get time with his ELC to grow at least in his first full season with his ELC as a stay at home big boy defenseman that can hit guys off the puck and block shots with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. I think his teammate Rydal with the Rangers. I did a video on that. I'll share it at the end of this video. If you want to check that one out as well, we'll have the best chance to crack the NHL right away. And that makes sense because one's 27 and Rydal has been in uh, playing overseas for a minute. The other in Janning is only 22 and is still growing as a prospect. So, now, for Adam Janning, <clears throat> first of all, please to subscribe down below or above the easiest ridge to keep the channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. His entire SHL career um, and also junior career, whenever it's been in playoffs, he has stepped up his play more. In international play, he was the captain of Sweden in 2020. So you know he brings those leadership qualities in the locker room. And you know he brings a step up in bigger game moments in the locker room as a shutdown guy, but also starts producing a little bit more when he's more of a stay-at-home defenseman on the offensive end, like, for example, having three goals and two assists in the 19 this year, when he only had one goal and four apples in 51 games. So that's just an example there. He does step it up for you in the biggest moment. But something that I think people are knocking him too hard on, some people I saw on Twitter and Facebook saying, oh, I don't really see him as an anything prospect. Th that's just because I don't think he's a sexy guy to watch. He's nothing special to watch. He's nothing overly impressive to watch. But those guys that are so simple, that are nothing that's overly impressive to watch and kind of go over the top with their skills sometimes, sometimes become guys that are just quicker, bottom three good defensemen that you can then work their way up because they don't overcomplicate things. Like if you think of the Sandheims of the world and the Provorovs of the world, the reason those guys sometimes take a little, well, Provorov came in really good, but now is starting to show struggles, sometimes take a bit to get around the struggles, is they are so freakishly talented with the skill, they're going to try to be more aggressive, or they're going to try to be more um, kind of finesse than a guy like Janning who doesn't have that. So he's going to come up and kind of just be as simple as possible, make the first pass, get it up the ice, be kind of just that shutdown, hit the guy off of the puck defenseman, kind of like what Daryl Sutter's developed Nikita Zadorov into, not what Nikita Zadorov was most of his career before going to the Avalanche, and Bednar got him, and then Sutter's really developed him into a stay-at-home, hit guys off the puck guy. The 30 now, whatever it is, version of Zadorov with the Flames, I would say, is kind of what Janning is, a guy that can really hit guys off the puck well, a guy that can be a good stay-at-home shot-blocking defenseman. I would say don't expect anything to wow your socks over anything from Janine, but I could expect him to be an NHL defenseman with the Flyers. Not next season. Uh, maybe he'll get a cup of coffee at the end of next season, but I agree with Bill Metzler and many others. I think he's a guy that's going to need to adjust to the North American game most of the year in the AHL, and he'll be a great addition for the Phantoms. I think he'll do very well in the AHL as a stay-at-home, body-checking, shot-blocking defenseman, and also utilizes his reach really well. He has a really long reach, utilizes that well. He's obviously not the quickest skater, but makes up for it with his reach. So I think Janine's going to fit into the Flyers, because the Flyers have a bunch of defensemen like Adder. I already mentioned Sanheim. If you keep Provy, obviously you have Cam York. You have a lot of finesse guys that have the ability to get around guys with the puck and be skilled you need to have a couple guys like the Jennings mixed in that are just a good defensive defenseman that can develop into that and become a guy that's just perfect opposite side of somebody that's more of a push-the-pace guy. Like, say, Cam York. Say if uh, the Flyers end up getting a pure top pair in defense in the future and then have Sanheim on the second line or Provy starts doing really good stages of the top pair, Sanheim on the second line, and York and Janning, just because Janning's the stay-at-home, York can be as lethal in the offensive zone, or Sanheim, who's been jumping up more on the play at the end of the season, can be more lethal in the offensive zone if you're on a line with somebody that's just a good defensive shutdown, stay-at-home defenseman. So I think Janning has a chance to be that because he definitely, that's what he profiled as in the SHO. He's a big reason for Jastad from the defensive side being their, one of their best defensive defensemen was able to, and then also uh, with Leko Ping HC, when he was there, he was a good defensive defenseman as well. 
the, he was a big reason why they were able to get this win and win the championship, shutting down some of the other big SHL players. So I expect him in time to be able to definitely do that in the AHL, and we'll see how it grows, but I give him a pretty good chance to make the NHL level. I give this signing, just like I did with his teammate Rydal with the Rangers, a B in the B range because it's nothing that's going to blow your socks off. It's not like when the Flyers sign a prospect to an ELC like a Sanheim or like a Provorov, but it is still a good move for me because it's a guy that profiles unlike most of our defensemen. A lot of our defensemen are more of those guys that, yes, like a Sandheim can use his size more, but also is more of a guy that's skilled and learned how to round out his game over the years. That was our best defenseman this year because he's good as a multifaceted defenseman now, being able to be good offensively, defensively, shot blocking, and all the nine yards. Janning's not that. He's good at shot blocking, defense, and on the reach, being able to get the puck off and up the tape and, and up the ice to the forward so they can do their thing. That's all you really need of him because the Flyers, to me, have a bunch of other defensemen, including Wyatt Wiley, who can mix in and be kind of those simple, solid on both ends defensemen, where Janning is a good guy to just kind of have that can just be great defensively and maybe develop into a stay-at-home guy like your Zadorovs, which it took him a minute to develop to, but uh, like a Zadorov who's now developed into that with the Carolina, or not the Carolina, with the Calgary Flames, and he started getting into that good mindset once he was with Colorado. So it'll be interesting to see what comes with Janine, but I'm excited to have him sign because the Flyers don't have a lot of guys that profile as Adam Janine as a big boy that's just good stand-up potential defensive stalwart. They don't have guys like that that are just that. They have guys that can be that, but they're then going to make mistakes because they're also jumping up on the plays like Provy or like Ronnie Adder's good in the defensive zone. If you look at him in college, he's just still growing at the pro level, but he's going to be more bound to make mistakes in the defensive zone because he's also lethal in the offensive zone. Janning's not going to be jumping up in the offensive zone, so he's always going to be back to make the play. So that's just my wrap-up point on it. This has been a video on Adam Janning signing his ELC with the Philadelphia Flyers. I'm actually happy that he's got to come in and we'll get to see what he's able to do. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below, up above, on the easy to use widget to keep the channel growing. It's goal of 250 or more by the start of June.